You know the feeling when you're just craving something sweet and tasty but you really don't want to break your health streak? Well, I have an insane sweet tooth, so this happens to me all the time. So today I'm showing you three tasty treats that are actually healthy and not just some random junk food. So I will leave some links below to some of the ingredients I used in these recipes in case you would like to replicate these recipes on your own. So with that being said, let's start off with recipe number one. This tasty smoothie bowl doesn't have exact measurements because it's totally up to you and your taste buds. Just make sure that the solids to liquids ratio is a good amount. So I would say three quarters liquid to compare to the solids, if that makes sense. So the ingredients that I used are one frozen banana, Half a cup of frozen berries. The berries that I used are raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Vanilla extract. Natural peanut butter. And any kind of milk product that you like. I used 1% milk. Cinnamon and chia seeds. So add the desired amount to the blender, then add milk and blend it all together. Next, add it to a bowl and add desired toppings on top. My toppings are hemp seeds and pecans, or pecans, however you say it. And you can also add protein powder if you would like some more energy from this snack as well. So recipe number two is nutty granola bars slash granola because I kind of messed up a little bit. <laughs> My ratio from dry to wet ingredients was kind of off, so it turned out to be more of a granola and didn't really stick together much. But I do say some tips in this video so that yours actually turn out to be bars, unlike mine, which is more of a granola. The ingredients that I used are six dates, about a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds, half a cup of almonds, um, one 100 gram dark chocolate bar, natural almond butter, maple syrup, and then I topped it with shredded coconut, which is a totally optional ingredient. So first I melted the chocolate by filling a pot halfway with water and placing a steaming pot on top of it. And by melting it this way, there's a smaller chance of the chocolate burning. Next, we're gonna place the dates into a blender and I ripped the dates into smaller pieces so that it's easier to blend. Then I added the pumpkin seeds and the almonds. Next I placed the nut mixture into a bowl and mixing it with almond butter and syrup. I would suggest using about half a cup of almond butter and three tablespoons of maple syrup so that the wet to dry ingredient ratio is a good amount. Before placing the mixture into a tray, I would suggest placing parchment paper into the tray so that it's a lot easier to take out after it's done freezing. 
Once the chocolate is melted, place it on the bottom of the tray. Next, pour the nut mixture on top. I used my fingers to press it down and make it more solid. And freeze it for about three or more hours until it feels solid. So although this didn't turn out as I imagined, it was still so, so good and I would recommend this recipe to anyone. So the final recipe is a great snack for a hot day. I am making Greek yogurt bars with strawberries and nuts. The ingredients that I used are pecan pieces, almond pieces, fresh strawberries, vanilla Greek yogurt, and chia seeds. Firstly, I mixed about one cup of Greek yogurt with chia seeds. This is totally optional. I just added the chia seeds for some extra nutrition. Next, spread the yogurt and chia seed mix across the cookie sheet that is lined with parchment paper. The last and most fun part of the recipe is placing all of the toppings across the yogurt. For a sweeter taste, you can even add dark chocolate chips. Place it in the freezer overnight or for about 8 hours until it hardens. Then break off a piece and enjoy. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll be sure to do more food and recipe videos in the future. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.